the car that became synonymous with hybrid transportation and a top choice for the Hollywood glitterati has lost some of its luster, overshadowed by the Teslas of the world. Sales are down considerably from their peak levels, which Toyota hopes to change with the all-new 2016 model. Fuel economy may reach as high as 60 city mpg, which would be enough to cement the Prius's place as the most fuel-efficient car on the market. Expect the next-gen model in dealerships at the very end of 2015 for the 2016 model year with a plug-in hybrid with an extended electric range following a year down the line. The primary factor keeping most of today's electric cars from catching on is their limited range, models like the Nissan Leaf and Ford Focus Electric cannot even reach 100 miles before needing a full recharge. Chevrolet has confirmed production for a new electric, tentatively called the Bolt that will be able to reach 200 miles while keeping costs down to around $30,000. The car may go through a name change due to confusion with the unrelated Chevrolet Volt plug-in hybrid. In any case, expect it early in calendar year 2017. When we first heard the new 2017 Ford GT is expected to cost up to $350,000, four times as much as a Chevrolet Corvette Z-06, we were quite taken aback. Never before in its history has Ford charged anywhere close to that for a new model. The new GT supercar will come powered by an ultra-high boost twin-turbocharged EcoBoost V6 engine with upwards of 600 horsepower. Its sexy styling sits impossibly low to the ground, and it features a design that is much more modern than the retro-inspired GT of a few years ago. Expect it in dealers in 2016. Car and tech companies from Acura to Apple have made waves with reports of upcoming fully autonomous, self-driving cars. Only Volvo has made concrete plans to put one such vehicle into production, including obtaining the permission of regulators in its home country of Sweden. The new self-driving Volvo will be based on the just-released XC90 large SUV, itself a showpiece for active safety tech that is already available today. Will Volvo be first out the gate with self-driving cars? Find out in 2017, when the first autonomous XC90 models are sold to the public. Tesla will release its third electric car, the Model X crossover SUV, later this year and already has thousands of buyers lined up with pre-orders. We are even more excited about the next car down the line, though, the Model 3 compact sedan. Coming by calendar year 2017, it will be the most affordable car the company has ever created with a target base price of just $30,000 after any available electric car tax incentives. The Model 3's driving range is projected to be around 200 miles. Buyers can expect typical Tesla advanced technology including swappable battery packs and a fully autonomous self-driving mode that can take the wheel in select situations. Ask any Japanese sports car fan their all-time favorite model and they just might tell you it is the MKIV Super Sports Car which terrorized roads the world over during the 1990s with its twin-turbocharged inline-six engine that was commonly boosted to make over 1,000 horsepower. The next-gen MKV Supra has been confirmed, 
and Toyota is currently working with BMW to build the car's platform and a new turbo inline-six engine. The company's FT1 concept shown here gives a pretty good preview of the actual car's design, although the Supra will be slightly smaller and less over the top. This is the model Japanese affordable sports car fans have been waiting for. Poor Lincoln just cannot seem to catch a break these days with flagging sales and a less than exciting product lineup. At the 2015 New York Auto Show, Ford's luxury brand surprised everyone with this stunning concept car that will preview the company's next full-size flagship. With hints of classic Lincoln models as well as modern Bentley designs, the concept is set to closely preview an AWD production luxury sedan that will hit dealers by calendar year 2017 if not before. As far as Lincoln is concerned, the sooner the better. Bimmer Files, as BMW brand enthusiasts are known, will probably tell you that the E30 generation M3 of the 1980s and 1990s was the purest driver's car the company ever produced. Today's M3 is much larger and around 1,000 pounds heavier, leaving room for a lighter and more tossable model just below it. Enter the 2017 M2 which will be based on the just-released new 2 Series Coupe and convertible. Expected to feature a twin-turbocharged inline-six with around 400 horsepower, this new compact will closely mimic the ethos that made the E30 such as legend. Expected in late 2016. Okay. So this one is just a rumor for now, and if it does happen it may not be by 2017. A self-driving Apple car would seriously shake up the entire auto industry if it does pan out, so it deserves a mention nonetheless. The Silicon Valley tech giant has recently been poaching well-respected auto executives from all over the world who are working in secret on a huge car-related project codenamed Titan. If Apple does get into the new car business, it will not do so unless it has something completely revolutionary. History tells us it is just the type of company to pull that off. After what has seemed like an eternity since its 2012 introduction as a concept vehicle, the brash new Acura NSX is finally upon us with a release date by the end of 2015 as a 2016 model. Driving the rear wheels, a turbocharged V6 and an electric motor sandwiched into the transmission provide most of the power, while each front wheel gets its own electric motor for hybrid AWD capability. Pricing for the NSX will start at around $150,000. Will it live up to its predecessor's reputation as a true supercar that still makes a reliable and comfortable daily driver? All signs point to yes.